HET 192, HVAC Careers, Week 5, HVAC Commercial Installation. Objectives. Describe education requirements. Understand specialized knowledge. Understand personal skills. No licensing requirements. Introduction. The commercial HVACR installer must have a good knowledge of system design and layout. The individual will spend time working on roofs, platforms, and ladders. They will also work with cranes and riggings to move large equipment. The installers work with high voltage electric. They must be creative and have sheet metal, electrical, plumbing, and pipe fitting skills. There may be a special license required. Experiences and advanced education is recommended. Education requirements. Apprenticeship post secondary community college trade school. An apprenticeship program is one in which the prospective HVAC person will gain an apprenticeship through a union or trade organization. They will work for a company and at the same time be taking classes related to HVAC. They will be working and learning as they go along. Normally the apprentice starts at 50% of the journeyman's wages and upon completion of the program will be certified as journeyman. Post-secondary community college is a program which normally lasts about two years and where the prospective HVAC person will gain knowledge through classroom experiences along with labs. They will start out with basic air conditioning, basic electrical, basic heating working their way to the advanced subjects. Normally, these per prospective HVAC people will at the same time be working as helpers for a company, thereby gaining on-the-job experiences while at the same time learning. Trade schools. Prospective HVAC employee would go to a trade school. The program lasts 6 to 12 months. They would be going to class six to eight hours per day and when completed have a certificate in HVAC. Specialized knowledge. Soldering, brazing, pipe fitting, sheet metal fabrication, blueprint reading, electrical. The commercial installer must have soldering and brazing skills for the refrigeration lines that are run. Pipe fitting skills as they will be running gas lines and other types of lines. They'll be cutting and threading pipe and putting them together. Sheet metal fabrication as they install the system they'll be making sheet metal modifications to the existing systems or they could be running a complete duct layout in the in the building. Blueprint reading. Normally commercial installers will look at blueprints and do the job based upon the blueprints that they have. They will also run the electrical and make all line and low voltage connections to make sure the systems operate. Personal skills. Analytical, creative, and problem solver. The commercial installer must be able to analyze the job, be creative in laying out and putting the job together, and be a problem solver when things arise that were not on the blueprint. They must have the ability to adapt and make changes as needed. Their communication skills. Verbal and written. The installer must be able to communicate with other tradesmen on the job, with building owners or managers, and to other installers on the same job. They must be able to verbalize what they need done, how they need it done. They must be verbalize and or use hand signals with cranes to set units. Written skills, they must be able to fill out a job ticket and other paperwork required in completing the job. Licensing may, re may be required depending upon location. Summary, must have the ability to take a job from concept to completion, the ability to work on roofs and above floor levels, work with contractors and cranes, have an expertise in sheet metal, electrical, and pipe fittings.